what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's power chi hope you guys are having a good morning today so today me and lewis we're going to be fixing the wheel studs that snapped off in the previous video uh, long story short if you guys didn't watch the video basically i was teaching my girlfriend how to remove uh, and replace her first wheel and tire but I was too happy or I was too excited of um, seeing the fitment of the wheels on my car I totally forgot to remind her to make sure that the wheel and the actual hub was actually like flush before actually installing and screwing on tight the lugs so what ended up happening was that the lugs ended up seizing onto the actual wheel stud because it wasn't uh, threaded on properly so when we tried to take it off it actually ended up snapping so right now I'm not running on five lugs I'm running on four lugs and I've been running on that for the past couple days uh, it's been fine and it should be fine still but I just don't feel too comfortable driving around with just four lugs and it just looks kind of stupid so uh, that's what we're gonna be fixing today hopefully it's gonna be a short video it depends on how easy of an access the actual wheel studs are but I'll start you guys off with a cold start So just in case you didn't see the other video, here is the messed up stud. So there's no lug on it just because it couldn't go on. They both are on the passenger side. And there's that one. So what we're probably gonna do is we are gonna take off the wheels. So yeah, we're gonna have to take off the wheels and see how much space we, uh, we have to work with because we're gonna have to knock these guys out. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's easy access. It's always a squad ting. Lewis's WRX, my sister's Civic. My neighbors are having a garage sale. I don't think they've sold anything in the past couple hours. <laughs> all right, so uh, we're just gonna bring out all the stuff now. We need to get the, we gotta get the jack, we gotta get the jack stands. We gotta get my toolbox. Zam, that view though. Look at it, sitting so pretty. But she's broken, so let's go fix her. All right, we basically just jacked up the car. It's freaking hot. So we're gonna take off the wheel now. All right, so I'm pretty much clueless from this point on. All I know is that we gotta knock out that stud. So Lewis is saying that we just gotta take this bracket off. And then there should be two bolts in the back, and then the entire assembly should come off? Yeah, like this whole thing will come off. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so that just came right off. Um, so, quick tip from Lewis is that the bolts actually go in from this way. It, it basically goes from inside out. So, when you're either doing it or, or uh, taking it off, just make sure that you do it in reverse. Otherwise, you'd be over tightening it or uh, loosening it when you want to do the opposite. Right. Yeah. But then I always like to use a bolt. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. So the rotor came off. Okay, so he did that in like five seconds. You guys saw he just hammered it right out. This is the stock one from uh, OEM one from Subaru that I picked up. So I'm pretty sure we're just gonna like yeah, tighten it. This one is a little bit big though. So I'm guessing like when you do this, it's pulling it inwards yeah. and then it gets tight. And then you're basically just... tightening this lug. And then when you tighten the lug, it's like pushing this in. Uh, sick. I would have just hammered it from the other way. <laughs> Is that wrong? Uh, you could do that, but as long as it goes through really, it's okay. Hey, look who's 370 just popped up. Alright, so uh, it's 
this is the new one. It looks like it's uh, perfectly flush back there and there's no gap in between. Even if there is, it's like half a millimeter, but all the rest of these guys over here also have like half a millimeter of a space. So everything is all complete on the front passenger side. So basically do everything back in reverse order, just to put the uh, stuff back on. Damn, Lewis, that tricep though. <laughs> Alright, so all five lugs are on now. Looks good. So now we're just gonna work on the rears. And I, I'm gonna be Team Ghetto and uh, color these in black. Then I wanna spray paint it and get it all over the carbon fiber. Because everyone thinks it's rust, it's not rust. It's just a construction adhesive, guys. Alright, so because Lewis helped me with my car, I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So I'm gonna let him take my car for a spin. With a new tune as well. And um, all the aftermarket parts I put on it, like the shift knob and the e-brake as well. Alright, so... Um, Lewis just gave me the keys to the WRX. I've never driven one of these before, so I'm pretty excited. So I'm just gonna swap out my shoes so that I can actually clutch properly. And uh, yeah, it's my first time driving a WRX, so I'm super, super, super excited for that. All right, got the keys to the WRX. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. I love the interior of this car, man. Look at this carbon fiber trim he has here. Start her up. There we go. So, just all this car. My bad. All right, you guys, so we're heading out for lunch now. We're gonna cruise down to, I don't know what we're gonna get, but we're gonna cruise down together. So, uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. And...